Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created dashboard and no match component with the routing in our React application. And in today's video, we will create a page post user and then we will create the form and inputs in it. So let's get started. So in our VS code, we will right click on our pages folder and we will create a new folder here and we will name this folder as employee and after this we will right click on this employee folder and we will create a new file and we will name this file as post user dot js and after this we need to create the css file so we will right click again on our employee folder and we will click on new file and we will name the new file as post user dot css after this let's open our post user dot js and here we need to import the css file so we will write import and we will mention the path of our post user dot css and after this let's create a function here and we will name this function as post user and this should be an arrow function and then we need to export it so we will write export default and then post user and after this we will write return statement and after this we need to create a form and after this we need to store the data of the form and we will create a use state for that and we will name this as form data and to set the values we will mention set form data and then let's mention use state here and here we need to mention the fields and the first field we want is the name and for by default value we will set empty and after the name we need to get the email so we will mention email here and after the email we need to mention the phone and the last field we want is the department and after this let's go to the return block and here we need to write a div tag and we will give a class name to this div which should be center form which will align our form in the center of the page and after this we will write one h1 tag and we will show post new employee and after this h1 tag we need to start our form tag and we will use the form from react bootstrap and in this form we need to mention the controls and first of all we will write the tag for the form group so we need to mention form dot group and after this we need to import the form as well so we will write import statement and we will import form from react bootstrap slash form and in this form group tag we need to mention the control id as well and we will give it as form basic name and after this we need to write a tag for the form control so we will mention form dot control and here we need to mention some properties and the first property we want is the type and we will set the type as text and after this we need to give a name and we will give it as name because from this form control we want to get the name of the employee and after this we need to mention the placeholder and we will give it as inter name after the placeholder we need to bind the value and we will mention here form data dot name and after this we need to mention the on change event and on this event we will call a method handle input change now let's write the code for this handle input change method and we will create a constant here and we will name this as handle input change and in the params we need to mention event and after this we will write arrow function and in the body first of all we need to get the form control name and the value so we will create a constant object and we will mention name and value in it and after this we will call event dot target and after this we will call set form data method and we will use spread operator and we will access the form data 
and then in the name we will set the value and with this our handle input change method is completed now let's go back to the html code and our control to get the name is completed now we will duplicate our form group and in the second control we need to get the email so in the type we will mention email and we need to update the name as well and we will mention email and in the placeholder we will mention enter email and after this we need to update the value and we will mention form data dot email and after this we will duplicate this form group again and this time we need to get the phone and in the type we will replace the email with text and we will name this as phone and in the placeholder we will mention enter phone and for the value we will update it to form data dot phone and after this we will duplicate this form group one last time and this time we need to get the department and in the name we will update it to department and for the placeholder we will mention enter department and for the value we will mention form data dot department and after this at the end we will write a button tag and we will show post employee and for the variant we will set it as primary and for the type we will set it as submit now we need to import this button so we will write import statement here and we need to import button from react bootstrap slash button and after this let's save our post user dot js and let's open our css file and i will paste the css code here you can pause the video and you can copy this code now let's save this file and after this we need to create a route for this post user component so we will open app.js file and here we will duplicate our dashboard route and for the path we need to set it as slash employee and for the element we need to update it as post user now let's save this app.js file and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of our post user page and here in the browser let's click on this post employee button and you can see we got redirected to post employee and we can see the post employee form group now let's write something in the name input and you can see it is working fine and that's it for this video in the next video we will write the code to call post employee api